Okay YouTube, the second test. I just used some copper wire out of some really cheap, really, really cheap and nasty um, electrical wiring. It looks to be about double the thickness. So that's not working. However, I reckon that's a prime candidate for the negative end. That might make a real good um, negative and it's cheap. It's a couple of bucks. It's fairly strong because I've still got to hold those bus bars down somehow. So I reckon that's going to be a win, at least for, for one end of the battery. That's going to be a really good, um, really good, clean source of cheap copper. Right, next. Okay, tubers. So I've tried a few different coppers, a uh, few different wires, sorry. Um, I tried those ones before. They didn't work. I tried um, that cable there is from an old inverter. That definitely didn't work. That cable there is from a 20, a 48 volt um, UPS. That didn't work. This wire here. And my kids walk around the house. That wire there is out of a 200 watt ATX power supply. Very, very fine. But guess what? I don't know if you can even see that, but it blows under a 4 amp load. So I'll see if I can catch that on video for you. Okay, so this is the bit of wire that I think is going to work. And I've got my son helping me out. Let's see if I get this in one shot. Okay. It's hard to see, but you can see a red glow. If I if I move that, there we go. It's hard to see, but it is glowing red. Okay, YouTube, so my initial conclusion is this wire is going to do well at least to proceed on with the test. So now I'm just charging off that little test unit. So I shall cut up some bus bar, attach that to it, and run the same test and see where we end up. So I've got my wire soldered to there nicely, just pulled it off. Um, as you can see here, I've got hot glue. So I thought to myself, well, I'm going to hot glue that to there. That way I can solder that wire on and do my thing. Now after 10 minutes of trying to solder it, that little imperfection there is all I managed to do. So that got so hot that it melted the hot glue and it fell off. So the bus bar, I either need a, some sort of gas torch or something that gets a lot hotter a lot faster, or maybe I need to drill a little tiny hole in the side of it, put the wire in and solder it into the hole, or maybe I need a different bus bar. This isn't going so well. I really thought I was onto a good idea with that bus bar. If I could cut it in half, maybe it wouldn't be so much of a heat sink. Ah, thinking aloud. Anyway, let me know. G'day YouTube. Bit of a sign off video, just trying to make an excuse for that babble that I just dribbled. It was more a way of me talking through the process in my own head more than and sharing information and sharing my fuck ups or whatever. It was just trying to, 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 to verbalize what I was actually doing. Um, this wire, it seems to be good. It's plentiful, it's cheap. Not that I'm really worried about cheap, especially not with safety. But I think the fact that it glows under a four and a half amp load 
is going to be more dangerous than having that fuse wire that doesn't glow and doesn't get hot under a four and a half amp load. Now I grabbed a battery, I put negative to positive, and that blew instantly, that, that eight amp stuff that absolutely just annihilated itself within half a second. Um, I know that destroyed itself at six amps, and it destroyed itself quickly at six amps, but if it was drawing a four amp load, which is in the realms of possibility, that could be more dangerous than it is safe. So, I will change my mind, I reserve that right. But thank you for watching again, thank you to all the new subscribers, and there's been an extra 30 or so last week, which is pretty cool. It's not Casey Neistat by any chance, but it's still cool. So, and I got another 150 cells, so that was yesterday's, um, that was yesterday's job. They all seem, the, the ones I've tested, I've done about 10 there so far, they all seem to be testing at about uh, 1900 milliamp hours under a 2 amp load. So that's, I'm happy with that, that's more than enough. So, anyways, YouTube, I shall update you when I work out this whole bus bar thing. Catch you later.